Now, I'm no detective, but I didn't put these chickens here. And also, I got about 10,000 comments telling me that my- Oh wait, I totally am a detective. <laughs> I got 10,000 comments, and that's no exaggeration, telling me that Mumbo did not build something in my base. Did not. He he definitely 100% did not build something in my base. At the same time as those messages came pouring in, these guys started appearing. Now, at first, I was just like, oh, I'd, my poultry man must have just left a few here. Yeah, why would he do that? I'll just have to get rid of these. And I've been I've just been hitting these guys and getting rid of them as they appear. But then I realised. They keep coming back. So, clearly, someone, and I don't know who, has built something in my base that is releasing chickens periodically. And I am going to get to the bottom of this and... Is there lava? Oh, boy. Okay, wait. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Someone has left me some signage. Rise and shine, Mr. Green. Rise and shine. Not that I dream to insinuate that you've been sleeping on watch. No one is more deserving of a break than what on earth? The right make a difference, Mr. Wake up and smell. Prank, prank war. Prank war never. Oh, come on. Flown in the What the heck is all this stuff? At Joe Hills. This has got to be Joe. I'm sorry, I know Joe well enough now that this has got to be him. He's the only one that would use some sort of war speech or something to to get me back, but I'm not entirely sure what all of this is about. And he clearly <laughs> clearly broke a creeper up here as well. You know what? I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ask him straight up. You know what? There, there's too much there's too much stuff going on in this prank war for me to have another enemy. This needs to be sorted out right now, today. Hello, Joe. And Howdy, Grian. Am I right in assuming that you wrote me some sort of novel and left a bit of uh, lighting on my base? <laughs> I, I did. It was hard to read the signs initially due to the lack of light. Well, I, th I think there's definitely been some sort of miscommunication here. So, you're... This is a retaliation because I swooped in and made your literature prank rather lethal. Is that is that right? Am I understanding this correctly? Well, it's not like maybe a literature prank as much as a ethics lesson, morality play. You're, so you're oh, so you're literally morals. teaching him a lesson. Uh, this is I I don't know if I can let this slide, Joe. This is like this is like old school. This is old school pouring lava on a on a base. Well, I am one of the olds, as the kids say, being over 30 years old. But you know what? That also means I keep coupons. I've got one coupon here for an IOU from Grian that you gave me for my um, wishing well, like eight months ago or something. Oh, I, was I did, because I took so much paper for some reason. I don't even remember why. I thought maybe we can kind of find a way to overlook this miscommunication involving lava and science on both sides. Oh really. my goodness, I never thought that this IOU would actually come back to haunt me. So you want me to owe you uh, a truce or a peace or something? <laughs> I, I want you to owe me forgiveness and understanding that's all i've I really <laughs> only wanted mutual understanding so we'll throw in forgiveness on top of that and then we'll call it a day okay that seems uh, fair all right uh i never i never thought that this would actually come back and haunt me okay i i will accept that i can I, i'll bury what did you say we'll bury the hatchet is that what you say Yes, we'll bury the hatchet. So it took a little while for all the lava to make its way down the bottom but all of a sudden it's bed up and it took quite a while but no damage done really as soon as those blocks were taken care of the rest just drained away so it looked way worse than it actually was no harm no foul well i'm glad we sorted that out because i cannot be dealing with another enemy just like iskal did uh, 
Let's get rid of these. We don't need these these snowballs anymore. What a waste of time. There's no time for friendly snowball fights when there's a friendly prank war going on, you know? I need to create a war room, which is why I've got one of each hermit's head. Oh, here we go. Grian, we need your attention immediately. Is it is it that important? I'm in the middle of something. I don't really use the inside of here, so why don't I use this to create the temporary wall so I can know who's on my side and who isn't. Now all we're gonna do is label who we consider an ally and who we consider an enemy. Impulse. Definitely on this side because he was part of the ghost ship. Iskal. Iskal. Uh, friend, I'd say. Zombie Cleo, definitely friend. Ren, definitely enemy. X, he was siding with Doc. That means Doc is there as well. Man, we're outnumbered at the moment. False. Ah, see, that f false is confusing because I helped her with the prank, but then she went against Ren. No, she went against Iskal. False is a, is a difficult one because I don't have any problem with her directly. So she's somewhere in the middle for me. Stress, I don't know. Mumbo, don't know. Scar, don't know. Me, I'm on this side. Tango is definitely on my side. He helped me with the heist. Joe is on my side as well, I think, because he's allied with Cleo. Even though he did prank me, I guess he's now on this side. So that leaves Stress, Scar, Mumbo, and False to work out where they are. But there is um, quite clearly two sides forming here. Anyway, Iskal needs our help with something rather urgently. I- what else is here? Ooh! Rocket sale! One diamond for four stacks. Absolute bargain. So what did they say exactly? Can you come and meet me and stress at the chicken coop? Okay. Hello! Hello! Hello, hello. What's going on? Um, well... Well... You, you break- okay, you break the news, stress. <laughs> I- well, I go, something, I go something may have happened to uh, Sally, but it's all fine. It's all good. Who's Sally? She's... Your chicken. I don't have a chicken. Yeah, your chicken, Sally. No, I don't have a chicken. I'm pretty sure you do. It's over <laughs> there. Look, you built it. It all looks pretty. Mm, wasn't me. Totally was you. It wasn't. Well, it wasn't me. I don't. <laughs> I don't own a chicken, so. But you built it and everything. <sighs> don't. Don't remember that. <laughs> Come on, Isk, help me out here. This is totally yeah, green chicken, right? You don't remember building uh, a cherry blossom? It, I mean, it clearly a... says here, liberated by poultry man, it was not me, it was the man in the chicken costume. How many times do I have to say this? Why does everyone keep blaming me for what the man in the chicken costume does? It's ridiculous. Do you know what? I'll, I'll just go and get him. Guys, I think they might be on to me. I, I don't, I don't want to arouse any suspicion, but I think they might know poultry man's true identity. Nah, they, nah, they were just, they were just guessing. They were just, they've been calling everyone poultry man. I'm sure of it. Oh look, Grian's back. Good. <laughs> oh nice. No, good. No, it's it's me. Grian. The, the superhero. <laughs> uh, I was told that there was a disturbance. Yeah, Grian, like the your your chicken Sally, she got taken um into a dungeon. What do you mean? By Doc. Why? Like, she, she was abducted because it's... of diamonds. But she's right stolen. here. Yeah. She's right here. Um, yeah, we yeah, we um, rescued her. We re yeah, rescued yeah, her. Quotations. We rescued her. Yes. Yeah, we were um, heroes. We were mm -hmm. your heroes. We you were. Yeah. Are you saying? Are you saying that I'm not a good hero? Uh, even well, heroes need. Oh, it, listen. Oh, even heroes yeah, needs uh, 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 other people to hero them when yeah, they have, are have sleeping or, or. Yeah, have a have a few eggs here. Yeah. Here. Basically, Who what happened this? was that Doc abducted your chicken and put her in a dungeon. And we were heroes. Yeah. We went. Let, let me show you. Let me show you. Come over here. How did we you do that? How did he do that? I have it's no part idea. of my magic superpower. <laughs> how did he? How did he do that? What the uh, heck? I used the I used the block. <laughs> no yeah. wait, How did he do that? I just watched you perform impossible Minecraft hacks. Yeah, down here after after many hours of searching, we found yes. this horrible place. Okay, 
down here. Yeah. Check this out. Okay. Go on, after you, Green. Ooh. Yeah. And Sally was prisoned and prisoned in here. This looks better than the plot that I made her, to be fair. <laughs> no, this is no, a dungeon. No, this is a horrible dungeon, dude. What? She likes cherry blossom. Yeah. Looks she like hates my this looks place. like the poultry cave. It's nice. So we were heroes and we rescued her we from rescued, this room. Now pufferfish did not fish. kill her. No. But a pufferfish no. was here. An evil pufferfish was here. Yes. But it it didn't murder her at all. I, uh, we no. we saved her. We saved her. Yeah. Yeah. I I should have been there. This is unacceptable. I'm gonna have to give up my title as the best superhero on this server. Oh no, don't be silly. Don't be silly. <laughs> you are still the bestest superheroes of all superhero ever. You're the only they write stories about you. Headline. Do 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 Poultry Man strikes again. I read it this morning. You guys think I'm a good superhero? Oh. You are, oh, oh, it's a, it's no. a busy life. Yeah. It's a busy life, we understand that. And so, we, we got your back. So there's a yeah. new Green, Sally now? Uh, well, no, she's well, she's she's a little tiny bit brand new, um, but the, the Sally's still there. It's all good. That's yeah. okay. There's lots of new chickens. There's more chickens yeah. where that came from. <laughs> chickens come and go, dude. It's okay. Oh look, Sally's a mother now. Oh, <laughs> she really good is. job, Sally. Yeah. Let's see if she survives the age cycle, because otherwise. Yeah. Should she, we do yeah. that? Should we see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the, Let's do the age, age cycle. Her. Oh no. Ready? <laughs> oh, no. We're gonna age her. Uh -huh. Yep. Yay! Hang no, on. no Hang she on. died. What? She died. She what do you mean? It. <laughs> no. <laughs> she actually died. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh no. What is that? But she's still here. She's still right here. <laughs> but she's still here. Yeah, the reaper hasn't come yet. There. <gasps> yeah. She's no, I'm sorry. They're so confused. They're so confused. I'm sorry, your mummy died. <laughs> no, Sally's dead. Well, thanks for saving Sally, even if it wasn't meant to be. I appreciate that, but I think I think my my job here is done. Okay. Well, <laughs> All right, bye, bye, bye Green. Green. Poultry man. Poultry man. Oh look, hi Grian. <laughs> He's back already. Yeah, back already, Grian. Like nice. I was just uh, uh, I've just been informed what's going on. Ah, oh, sad, sad news. Very Since sad. your chicken, I mean, Polderman's chicken is dead. This is mm -hmm. really sad. Oh, that is sad. Huh. Oh well. Um. So there is a serious problem on this server, guys. Serious problem. You, last time I saw you, Iskal, you had like a a wall of of heads. I've also made a wall of heads. And you are on my good side at the moment. And then there's a few people that are like sitting in the middle for me. Maybe we should like convene and work out who's who's on both of our sides. That would be very helpful because I tried to do that earlier today and it is so confusing. It is really confusing. Oh, okay. You've got Jevin on this side. I didn't put Jevin on my side yet. Yeah. I'm see I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Like I said, I'm very confused. But this is what I figured out so far. <laughs> oh, okay. We've, we've got slightly different walls going on. So we mm -hmm. might need to... If we're on the same team, we need to work out who's an ally and who's not. You go ahead. I assume Stress isn't on the other side, seeing as she's right here. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. <laughs> so she's on the side of, of us. Mumbo, he's done nothing. ZF, nothing. Cub, nothing. Python, nothing. Scar, nothing. And 24 Chef, nothing. Now, see, I actually saw Joe earlier, and we uh, apologized to each other and fixed our differences. So he's either in the middle or he's on our side. I have False in the middle at the moment because I haven't actually done anything with her apart from the, the prank on Ren. So, yeah, like, but you see, she if if I'm on your side, you have to protect your peers because she, blew, she I, I pranked her. You blew up her cake. Oh, yeah. She took pride in that bird poop cake. Yeah, she totally. Loved it. Actually, yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay. So we really need to meet up with our guys that because they don't even know. Like Tango, Jevin, <laughs> Cleo, they don't know we've done this. 
they don't know that yeah. we're allies. Well, I, I guess they do, but they don't know like officially. We need to like meet up with everybody. I agree it, because okay. like, what if they are not happy with the like? They may be. I yeah, I'm maybe the, they they might have a they, different. They have might have a yeah. different set of walls. Maybe Mumbo's yeah. on that side. I don't know. You uh, talk to my people, and my people will. Inform <laughs> I'll, me I'll talk about to you. Yeah, your people talk <laughs> yeah. to my people. Yeah. But well, I'll talk okay. to my cat and see yeah. what he says about all uh, this. Yeah. And they they can talk to Stress's cat, and then yeah, we can go cat, from there. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. And okay. my dogs will will bark. Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay. That sounds good. That makes perfect sense. Just just <laughs> exactly. like this surfer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now my wall seems a little bit outdated, but it's all coming together, and the team has been notified. I've messaged everybody, so hopefully we'll be able to get together fairly soon in the next couple of days to work out our plan of action because things are getting pretty serious now. We are all having quite a good time, actually. It's actually been a really, really fun experience. Anyway, there's not any more chickens uh, coming out, but I keep periodically hearing something, and I'm pretty sure there's a mechanism here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna AFK in this general direction, I don't know exactly where, because the chickens are all centered or were centered around there. I've now gotten rid of all of them, but I'm pretty sure if I just wait long enough, uh, Mumbo or whoever it was <laughs> built something around this area. So I'm pretty sure if we just wait long enough, we'll see where it, where it is. Oh, there it is. There, there it was. I saw it. Okay, that took about four minutes. It was over here somewhere, I think. No? Aha! Uh -huh. Absolutely rumbled. Now, what has he created here? Oh my goodness, this is complicated. So if I'm understanding this, there's a timer here full of junk, and then that passes into another hopper down there, which then triggers all of these pistons to release, but it's it's got no eggs left, that's why. Ah, uh, amateur mistake, Mumbo. You need to fill it up with chickens to be constantly laying eggs to fuel this fire. But what a little ingenious little system here. Mm -mm -mm. So, it turns out Mumbo did build something in my base. Who would have saw that coming? Not me. <laughs> and just as I say that, off it goes. Well, I think all we need to do here is just remove this... And that's all we need to do, and it will not bother us anymore. Anyway, I want to continue building a little bit in my base, because I've been working on the ring that runs all the way round, and I've got a new design that I want to put in it and see what you guys think. So I've put my camera account at the top of my base facing down, so I've got this really cool angle even if you can't see absolutely everything. So this pattern is fairly simple. Now you might be wondering, why am I now deleting all of those white concrete blocks that I spent hours placing the first time that I made this? And that's pretty simple. I had no idea what pattern I wanted on this giant circle, but now I think I do and it looks pretty cool. And actually it was seeing the map on Iskow's war room that made me think, oh, actually it could use some sort of pattern there that was a bit bigger. So all in all, it was fairly simple. I just leave one block gap either side of this giant circle, delete the inside and replace it with some cyan glass. Now I've actually got loads of these materials lying around, loads of glass, loads of sand, because I've just grinded all that out for hours and hours. But actually recuperating all of this white concrete means that all of this can now go into producing the wall underwater. Now I am slightly underestimating exactly how much work was involved because this took well over an hour and I didn't expect that. I thought I could do this in about half an hour, but no, it took a long time. And the underside, the big wall that's going to have to go around is also going to take hours and hours and hours. So I'm gonna have to break up this project over time, but I really want to finish this base sometime soon. I unfortunately did not have time to finish the entire thing. But, I think it actually looks really, really cool. If you imagine that all the way round, it looks like a proper crosshair. Now, I know it looks a little bit thin and it, it doesn't load properly half the time, 
but it actually looks like pools of water inside it. Now, I think that once this whole thing is finished, because down under here, there's no wall, and I think that doesn't help the matter, but... Around here, I've started creating more of a finished product, as you can see. This is a really big project. There's a lot of resources going into this. Now, I'm just not sure what to do with the giant bottle, because this wall basically slices right through it. And this is where we started, guys. It might seem like a long time ago now, all those months ago. We started in this shipwreck in a bottle, but I don't want to get rid of this. I mean, it's even got some mistakes still in there. I don't want to get rid of it, so I might have to do some sort of thing to make an arch over the top. I don't really <laughs> want to cover it up or slice through it in any way. Anyway, I think that's it from me, everyone. Next episode, I really want to uh, experiment with my towers a bit more. Now, I know I did... The only experimenting I've done are these little details here, but I think that I can do something a little bit better. I've just been really hesitant because there's a fine delicacy about this. It's almost... It's almost because this is really simple. I think that there's a beauty and simplicity in this sort of uh, build here. And I don't want to overcomplicate it. However, there is still stuff missing. And I think that pattern has actually improved it quite a lot. Especially once it goes all the way around. It'll look really cool on the map from the top down. However, there's still so much that needs doing. Maybe even cool bridges that go inside. That, oh, that might look cool as well. There's a lot that can be done here, and I'm not going to give up working and perfecting this entire base. Not to mention trying to fill up the inside of this. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, everyone. That is unfortunately all we have time for today. However, next episode, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. So I look forward to making that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!